Thomas's tricky tree. It was the winter holiday season. All the little engines on the narrow gauge railway were very busy. Scar Lowy was pulling cars of holly and mistletoe from the woods. Mighty Mac was taking vacationers to the mountains. And Sir Handel was taking a special present to the wharf for Sir Topham Hat. It was the winter holiday tree. Thomas was very excited. Sir Topham Hat had chosen him to collect the tree from the wharf. He was to take it to the town square in time for the winter party. When Thomas arrived at the wharf, it was very busy. He looked for the tree, but he couldn't see it anywhere. Duncan puffed up. How are you looking for something, Thomas? He chuffed cheekily. I'm looking for a Christmas tree, tooted Thomas. Don't you know what a Christmas tree looks like? Laughed Duncan. He liked teasing the big engines. It's tall and green and pointy. Thomas didn't think this was funny at all. Duncan called out to Peter Sam. Peter Sam, Thomas needs our help. He doesn't know what a Christmas tree looks like. Of course I do, huffed Thomas. He didn't like being teased by the small, cheeky engines. It made him cross. Later, Thomas met Sir Handel. Thomas, Sir Handel began. The Christmas tree is... Tall and green and pointy, chuffed Thomas. Thank you, Sir Handel. I don't need your help. Sir Handel was puzzled, but Thomas had already wished away. Thomas chuffed into a warehouse. Rusty was there. Hello, Thomas, he honked happily. Can I help? No, thank you, Rusty, Thomas tooted quickly. He looked around. He couldn't see the tree anywhere. Thomas was beginning to worry. Thomas chuffed into another warehouse. Hello, Thomas, whistled Scarlowy. Can I help? Thomas didn't want to be teased by another little engine. No, thank you, Scarlowy, he puffed. Then he saw it. A long, pointy load on a flatbed. It was covered by a large tarp. I found it, tooted Thomas excitedly. Sir Topham Hat will be waiting for this tree. What tree? Scalloway whistled. But Thomas had wished away. Thomas raced out of the warehouse. He had a very important job to do, but he was puffing too fast. Then there was trouble. Thomas took the wrong track. He applied his brakes hard. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. He heard the flatbed crash into the buffers, and then splash into the canal. Oh no, Sir Topham Hat's tree, cried Thomas. It's not a tree, Thomas, whistled Scarlowy. That's what I was trying to tell you. It's a load of pipes. Thomas's cheeks turned red. Sir Handel delivered the tree this morning, Scarlowy added. So only he knows where it is, puffed Duncan. Thomas was a big engine, but he couldn't have felt smaller. And he couldn't have felt sillier. The quayside cranes lifted the pipes out of the water. Thomas was worried. It was getting later and later. Thomas knew there was only one engine that could help him. And that was Sir Handel. He chuffed quickly away. Thomas had to find him. 
and ask him where the tree was before it was too late. Thomas's boiler bubbled and his axles ached as he raced towards the transfer yards. He thought Sir Handel would be there. And Thomas was right. Sir Handel was there. I've been a very silly engine, Thomas wished. I didn't want to listen to you. I thought I knew better than the little engines, but I don't. Sir Handel listened carefully. I need to find the tree, Thomas puffed, and there's no time to lose. Of course I'll help you, chuffed Sir Handel. Follow me, Thomas. Thomas's smile stretched from buffer to buffer. Sir Handel was fast, but Thomas puffed quickly after him. Sir Topham Hat would be waiting. Thomas was coupled up to the tree. Thank you, Sir Handel, chuffed Thomas. Now I must hurry. I'm sorry I teased you, whistled Duncan. Thomas smiled. I'm sorry I didn't ask for your help, wished Thomas. And he raced away. That night, Sir Topham Hatt switched on the tree lights. They looked wonderful. The children clapped and cheered. I may be big, but I can still ask for help, tooted Thomas. And his smile was as bright as the lights. <laughs>